The Spanish car manufacturing industry has continued to show signs of recovery despite the economy registering a drop in overall manufacturing for November. Here's Catherine Ferrer for the report. The European car industry has been struggling for several years, but the Spain's auto assembly plants are back in the trend, increasing production, winning new models and creating jobs. That's most welcome in Spain, bested by continued high unemployed. Forget such as fruits, olive oil, wine. Despite not having any home-owned car makers, Spain is now Europe's second biggest car producer behind Germany. This Ford plant near Valencia on the Mediterranean coast just one that's increased production when you modest and create jobs even as much of the European car industry is still struggling. Over 7,000 people work at the site. Pepe Perez, communications manager at Ford, believes the factory is a key economic driver for Valencia. Before Ford arrived in 1973, this was an agricultural area and there's not much uh, activity in the industrial side. But fortunately, with the introduction of Ford and as the years have gone by, there is a, a web of uh, suppliers who've installed themselves, a lot of suppliers, uh, new suppliers. So there, there is this German on, you know, uh, automotive industry now. Ford's only been building the transit connect in Valencia for three months. Its arrival, along with the Kuga, brought 800 million euros of investment and 1,100 jobs here. And there's also a knock-on effect. It's estimated that for every job created directly by Ford, leads to another three being created at a supplier. That's welcome in Spain, where unemployment is still stands at an eye-watering 26%. Keen to protect jobs, the unions at the Valencia plant have accepted flexible work practices and salary freezes. A sales slump over the past six years has hit Europe's mid-range manufacturers hardest. Spain's fortunes contrast, especially with France's struggling PSA Peugeot Citroën. It lost 5 billion euros in 2012 and is pursuing a tie-up with China's Dongfeng Motor Group to pull it out of its downward spiral. While Spain's car industry is driving growth now, it's not the answer to all the country's woes, says Anil Basan from EY. It's important for the brands, manufacturers, and for the government, the industry association, to drive up utilization uh, at, these, at these plants to make sure that um, you know, these are not just products for the domestic or the local uh, you know, European markets, to, to, uh, to make sure they're producing products that can be exported to, to other markets. One of the things uh, going forward uh, that we will see is the emergence of a lot of hubs for producing vehicles. So you know, that is something that Spain can aspire uh, to become. The Spanish car industry wages are around the European average and almost half of those of regional competitors like the Catch Republic. Industry experts warn that low labor costs aren't enough to keep Spain growing as a car maker. Bringing research and development to the country will also be key for ensuring in the long term it less depend on its production lines. Reporting from Madrid, Spain, this is Catherine Ferrer for Eagle News.